Hi people, it's uh, Gerard here, Wolfgang1, back to do another Transformers Generation 1 Redux and Comparison with Wes Needs Help. Today we will be looking at the differences between Generation 1 and Universe Legends Warpath. So here's the Generation 1 model. He is one of the uh, second year Autobots um, from the Generation 1. It turns up out of nowhere in the cartoon along with a load of other characters and you're just instantly supposed to know who they are. Not very well explained, that sort of annoys me a little bit, even to this day. Um, Warpath is one of the second year minibots. And because he transforms into a tank, I would have actually liked to have seen him about the same size as Prowl or uh, Blue Streak, someone like that. But Hasbro decided to go with the minibot line, which is a bit strange. There was an episode um, where Warpath goes off against uh, Blitzwing and they're both in tank mode. And, I don't know, if you tried recreating that with your toys, then just by size alone, Blitzwing would, would uh, win, hands down. In regards to this toy, I sort of like it and I sort of don't like it. I'm a little bit torn. I like it because there's a lot of detail. A hell of a lot of detail in this tank mode. Let's see if you can get a good shot of that. Unfortunately, some of the detail does tend to get lost once you've transformed it to robot. Good contrast of silver and this sort of dark red brown sort of colour. The rub sign still works after all these years, which is very, very nice. But something gets lost in translation when you turn it to robot mode. And I'll show you exactly what I mean right now. Start off by taking the back section of the tank and pulling it out. And then as you pull up that entire back section with this finger, move back that grey panel. Separate the arms away from that push back the barrel and then finally lift up the turret top to reveal the head. Now, don't get me wrong, his, his robot mode is okay. You've got 360 in the arms here. The turret chest section will move from side to side, not a complete 180 degrees. But the thing that lets it down is the fact that this entire bottom section that is supposed to be the legs is just one complete unit. Now what I would have liked to have seen, um, and perhaps they could have done this if they'd have chosen to make Warpath bigger than a minibot, is where the rub sign is, detach that entire section on a hinge and fold it up and connect it into this section here. So basically the rub sign becomes the abdomen of the robot. And that way the two separate tank treads would have represented two legs. That would have been a lot better. but. For some reason, they didn't do it. I mean, they gave uh, characters like Beachcomber, um, Bumblebee, Cliffjumper, Brawn, they all had two separate legs. I don't see why they couldn't have done the same with Warpath here. In terms of character, I mean, his character annoyed me a little bit by doing the sort of boom, pow, bang sort of thing at the end of every sentence. I don't feel there was really any need for that. Um, come to think of it, quite a few of the second wave Transformers had speech impediments or strange personality quirks like that. But, I mean, for what he is, he, he's, he's okay, really. He is okay. I mean, I got Warpath very, very cheap. I mean, if you... if you, Oh, hang on, that's my phone going off. If you're, if you're paying more than, say, £5 for him, you're paying too much. I got this guy for about three ninety nine, And he's, he's in remarkable condition for his age. I've seen a lot of Warpaths where, for example, the turret section is snapped off completely. Or the head's missing, or something like that. Um... So yeah, do I recommend getting the Generation 1? Well, yeah, because he's he's quite nice to have in a collection, but then again, I don't know what the Universe Legends version is like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand it over to Wes, who's going to give us a more detailed look at the more contemporary version for this. Let's see what he's got to offer us. Thanks, Gerard. Um, now I'm going to be showing you the Universe Warpath. It's the Universe uh, Henkei spy team version or whatever but it's the same thing it's universe warpath uh legends class this is a very very cool figure here's this tank mode as you see from the side brilliant little autobot symbol there on the sides it's, it's very detailed for being such a small piece the bar gun barrel has a touch of articulation you can go up 
or down with it. So you can just kind of aim it, have him looking up because he's such a tiny little tank. But it, it's got the sets of four different tank treads on it. But it is a very aggressive looking tank, nonetheless. Beautiful tank. And now I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, take it into its robot mode, which is very nice as well. And I'm strictly, I don't know, maybe I'm just partial to the G1, but I do really enjoy this. I take it for what it is. It is a revamped new model of him. But Warpath is just a classic character from the G1 cartoons, just with the great quotes of, uh, bang, boom, pow, all these, uh, as he would exclaim going into battle now you see the robot mode is pretty good robot great looking little head sculpt look down the barrel of that gun um, I'm loving this guy a lot but it's still I can't take away from the G1 as well the G1 is a great piece to have his legs are articulated they move back and forth. Um, just a little bit of articulation in these due to the treads that fold around into the back. If it wasn't for those treads, you could get really good poses out of it. But still, nonetheless, you get some limited movement in the knees. The arms go 360, and they also bend at the elbow here, which is a very cool little option. You've got the little fists on the inside there. But... Uh, this is the Classics Universe line, Warpath. A very great homage to the original. It's, I'm not going to say it's better because I love the original as well. So, this has been Wes, showing you off this universe. And I'm going to throw it back to you, Gerard. Thanks for having me. Right, thanks very much for that, Wes. So, let's have a look at the final comparison between Generation 1 and Universe Legends. Well, the Universe Legends has a hell of a lot more articulation in it. It's good to see that they've actually given Warpath the two separate legs thing that I was talking about. Um, it's just a shame the byproduct of that is they've given him four tank treads in order to do that with. I still would have liked to have seen maybe them try to do it with like just the one tank tread either side thing, but never mind. Uh, the Universe Legends looks very, very, very nice, I've got to say. Um, who do I think wins between the two? Well, simply for articulation-wise, um, and the detail included, then the Universe Legends one, um, I'd say, is probably a better option. But there is certainly nothing wrong with picking up the Generation 1 either, because the level of detail on this guy, at least in the, in the tank mode, is also quite commendable. So... I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave this one open to personal choice. If you want the Generation 1, get that. If you want the Universe Legends, go for that one. Or you can be greedy and go for the two. So this is Gerard Galvin Barry saying thank you very much for watching. That's my bloody phone going off again. I do wish that person would leave me alone. Um, this is Gerard saying thank you very much for watching. Thank you also to my lovely assistant Wes. And we will be back very soon with another Generation 1 Universe Legends Minibot comparison review. Until then, people, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Like you,